So it was a sunny day in Indianapolis. The crowd was roaring. It was getting exciting. You see athletes running, jumping, having a good time. You see the spectators screaming for the favorite athletes. What was happening was it was a Paralympic trials. There were thousands of people there. So on that day, I was one of the thousand people that was there. So I wore my Paralympic shirt. And I thought you guys would like, like to see the, me racing and winning a race against the guy from Venezuela. So I'm going to be talking about the Paralympics today and the founding and the growth. It was started by a guy named, it was started in 1948. Uh, the guy was Dr. Lewis Guffman. When he was 18, he uh, went to, he was a volunteer uh, uh, doctor and in Germany, so what he noticed was that uh, when a disabled person came in, like one of his best friends was in a mining accident. He lost his complete legs. He had no movement of it, so he was a paraplegic. After that, they, he went to the hospital. Well, he went, uh, doctor, went, doctor went with him, and after that, uh, after he went to the hospital, the uh, doctors that run the hospital said they can't do anything for him. So pretty much they shoved him aside, and that was it. Five weeks later, he died because he wasn't getting the proper treatment. And that was it started Dr. Gutman from starting the Paralympics. And that's him. And he wanted to start it because he thought disabled should have the same opportunities as able bodies, like in sports and whatever. And then he did for anyone with any type of parent. You could be blind, deaf, you could have like one arm, one leg, you could be amputee, any type of disability, you could become a joint Paralympics. And he didn't care if you were like, like someone that was brand new or someone that just start, uh, that's been doing it for years. And the headquarters is in Germany. And that's uh, MLA Kamala with the first Olympic team, Paralympic team, that he worked with the kids from the hospital. In 1960 Rome, uh, 60 Rome, that was the first Summer Paralympics that ever happened. There were about 400 athletes to compete in it. Uh, and it consisted of 23 countries and 57 medals were awarded that day, and there was only eight sports back then. Some were uh, swimming, snooker, <coughs> and the archery. The archery is like darts, but like using a bow and arrow. I thought that was pretty cool. And then snooker, and you guys know what it was? Snooker is uh, cool, pretty much, but the lower level of it is more complex, because there's different rules to it, meaning that you have to get more balls in, you couldn't stand up and go, or go on the table. You had to use just what you could, like sitting down in a chair. In 1976, they had the first Winter Olympics, which was in Sweden. It consisted of 198 athletes. Uh, it had 16 countries, which included West Germany, Canada, Great Britain, Yugoslavia, the United States. And the six sports was, uh, they had skiing, ice sled hockey, and wheelchair curling. That's a picture of uh, them playing wheelchair cur curling. I'm not sure about the rules for that, but I see old people do that at the retirement center. Uh, I'll try to bring that there. Uh, then, so, for, so I told you about the first Summer Olympics, the first Winter Olympics. Now we tell you about the last Olympics, which was London 2012. And it had, uh, this is the biggest Olympics they ever had so far. It was 164 countries. 503 medals were awarded that one uh, weekend. And there was 20 sports involved. Some were uh, powerlifting, sitting volleyball, and wheelchair rugby. And that's the wheelchair rugby guys. I tried wheelchair rugby the other day. It hurts. Just saying, it's very painful. And you see the guys, like, there's no remorse, they just go at it, no matter what. So speaking of the Paralympics, of some of those, here are some of the star athletes for it. One was George Eisner, born August 31st. 
and he's the first disabled Olymp uh, Olympian. I know most of you thought Oscar Pis Pistorius was the Olympian, but he was, he was one of the first Olympians, but Oscar was the first double amputee uh, in Olympian to run in track. George, he did different sports. He did uh, professional rope climbing, he did professional gymnastics, and he did like a vault. I still don't know how he did that, because when he was 14, he got hit by a train and he lost one leg. So when he was competing, he had a wooden leg, which is a little pretty cool. He looked like a pirate to me. Uh, he had a wooden leg and that's how he competed. He won six medals total, three in the gold vault, in the press and gymnast. And that's him uh, doing his gymnastics and him doing his rope climb. But when you look at him, I think the Olympics tried hiding the fact that he had only one leg. So he was still the first disabled athlete and he still did his thing. Then you had Natalie D. Twat. She's from uh, South Africa. She was an Olympic swimmer, born in January 19, uh, 1984. Uh, she's an Olympic swimmer. And she's the first disabled athlete to carry the Olympic flag. So. Her country let her, being not being an Olympian, like a regular Olympian, she was the first disabled Olympian to carry the South African flag at the Olympics, which I thought was pretty cool. And that's her. She's still competing today. Then you got Tatiana, Tatiana McFadden, who's a current Paralympian. She's a multi-Paralympian, actually. She's only 24 years old. And she's considered to be the world's fastest woman on the planet, obvious <coughs> reason. And she, her specialty is on marathons. She just competed in London uh, 2012 and won five Olympic medals there. And that's her. That's her doing some of the marathons she did Chicago, London, and uh, Boston one. And that's her finishing the Boston Marathon. Everyone loves a terrible marathon right there. Uh, so I told you about the athletes. Now I'm going to tell you about. The, I told you about. The, uh, I told you about the past, the present. Now I'm going to tell you about the future of the Paralympics. The next Paralympics is in Rio, 2016. I'm currently training for that. Uh, it's going to have 4,200 athletes, 150 countries, <coughs> and tw uh, 23 sports in total for it. They're going to have every single sport I've mentioned before plus two elements that are going to be added, which are the paratriathlon and paracanoeing. And it's going to be, it's going to have a lot of people involved in it. It's going to have 70,000 volunteers and 100,000 members just to make it happen. And for the review, uh, I talked about the founding and growth of it, the star athletes, and the future of the Paralympics. <coughs> What I have to, and that's just the Olympic, uh, Paralympics uh, fireworks ceremony that we had in the beginning and the end. So the one thing I have to tell you guys about uh, athletes, the same athletes, is don't judge them on the looks because people will go out of their way just to prove you wrong. <laughs>